Hey everyone, Cody here. And today we'll be testing out some uh, heavy bodied Liquitex acrylics paint. I have never used uh, Liquitex heavy body. I don't think I have. Maybe I have once or twice and maybe I just didn't really know what the difference was between regular acrylics, you know, years ago when I started. Um, but I've never kind of gone out of my way to use it. I've really just used the regular acrylic paint, uh, kind of level one, sometimes level two. And I have used, you know, the gloss enamel obviously years ago, but it's kind of awkward. I'm not gonna lie. Coming back into painting after not doing it for so long is, it's a little odd, it's a little different. Um, but we're gonna test out these paints and we are going to test out this kind of format. I got like a little harness for my phone to record the videos. Uh, for today, we're gonna test out maybe a couple different of my scraping tools. I've got this floater uh, from Home Depot for like grout. Uh, I got another one that they're kind of different. This one's textured a little different. You can kind of see. This one is more of like a foam. Uh, it, it almost feels like the, like the felt foam that you would use for kids crafts, but just very thick. Um, and then this one feels more like, almost like a cellophane type foam or something. Almost like, it feels like popcorn or peanuts, like packaging peanuts, but again, thicker. And then we've got uh, just a Husky um, actual like drywall uh, trowel or float. I guess this is a float as well, um, but this one is metal, so. And then we also have our signature homemade uh, paint scraper. So we will try some of these different tools out depending on how the paint goes. Uh, looks like I got some stuff on here, so. And I actually just recently got a question uh, about this scraper, how thick is it? Uh, I believe that this is quarter inch for this plexiglass. And all I did to make the scraper was I, I bought the sheet of, uh, I don't know if it's plexiglass or just acrylic, but I bought a sheet of acrylic from Home Depot and I simply just cut these little pieces of wood very simply and then I had them screwed on there but it started to split the acrylic like so it started to crack um, so you you know if you pre-drill it first and then put the the screws in it might not be an issue but then I just put like a super thick adhesive on there to kind of keep them in there and that's it that's you know the extent of this uh, scraper Okay, well, let's go ahead and jump right in. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. I've got, so I've got some monochrome colors here. I've got black and white, but also silver and gold because I feel like you can't go wrong. And I'm interested to see how these thick, uh, thicker paints come out. Also, I wanted to test this format to see if me moving or uh, having it here made a lot of sense. Um, since I kind of tore down the garage and, and my painting area, I don't really have a designated space anymore, so I don't really have a place to put my foam. I'd have to try to find that and set it up. So we'll see, hopefully it works. All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna start with the black um, on the canvas. And we're just gonna take a line here. And we are going to use this floater right here. I think I'm gonna push this up a little bit. There we go. So this, uh, this thicker paint, it definitely has more body to it because it's not like moving around look even having this little bit on my finger it does not move so that is that's different so we'll go ahead and smooth this across and we it doesn't matter if it doesn't cover the whole thing that's not our goal here today we're just Kind of testing it out we're gonna see if we can make kind of a cool monochrome thing with this all right so 
first impressions, it's definitely thicker. I mean, obviously. However, the, uh, yeah, it definitely doesn't spread as well, but I do like how thick it is. It kind of gives it like a volume, which is kind of cool. So next we'll go into our silver. I think maybe this time we'll try out this float right here and we'll put it right on the float. We're going to push down and pull. All right, so it kind of sunk in, so we're going to see if we can get some of that volume. So it's sinking in right here in the canvas. You can see that it just doesn't want to pass this uh, point. This could be because the canvas is just a little sunken in. I mean, they're just canvases from Michaels, so they're not like super high quality, but I feel like that could happen probably with any canvas that you buy. It does look cool on the scraper though. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and try to, let's see if we can make something happen here. Okay, so it looks like it's uh, it's not really wanting to push this way. And I think that that's gonna happen because there, a lot of the paint's kind of right there. Uh, but we're gonna keep we're gonna keep at it, and we're just gonna keep layering these these uh, these paints. So next, let's go ahead and bust out the big guy. It does it's not quite long enough for the whole thing, um, so we'll have to do it in sections. So because it doesn't reach, I'm gonna put the paint on the canvas here, and then we're gonna scrape it. And here I'm gonna try to flatten it as much as possible. And I do wanna try to pull it straight back if possible. getting some good coverage and it's definitely resisting pulling the paint the paint is trying to suction to the canvas but we're not going to let it we're just going to keep pulling through i can i can feel the resistance of the paint for sure in fact it's moving the table and the painting actually doesn't want to move, so. But well, we will prevail. I'm just gonna move it, jostle it just back and forth a little bit to try to break it loose. It is really resisting. This paint is definitely thicker than anything I've used for sure. The gloss enamel is like the opposite. As a glass handle, you literally just throw. <laughs> Woo! That was a workout. But that is some phenomenal color. I really like that a lot. Holy crap. This thick paint is great. Okay. Do I want to go over this section again with this, though? That's the problem. Um, I think we do. I think we do here. It might be the wrong decision, but it's the decision we're going to go with. Okay, so you can see that I probably didn't push quite as hard. Maybe I need to put a little more pressure on this side. There we go, there we go. Okay, Woo, we really powered through it. And you know what? It looks great. In fact, if this wasn't uh, just bare white canvas, maybe I could have started with white, but I would probably keep it. But in fact, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and flip it over. And we're gonna start going the opposite way. Now I've got some titanium white here. We're gonna pull it the other way. 
So, so far, honestly, my plexiglass scraper has been my favorite tool. And I think we're gonna kick it up a notch here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the white down, but I'm also going to add a little bit of gold and I'm just gonna kinda sprinkle the gold in. So, sorry if it wasn't showing. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of the gold in there. And then I think I'll go ahead and put a little bit of the black as well. A little black back here and here and here. Okay, so we've got our baseline. So let's go maybe about halfway with the scraper and we are going to push down as hard as we possibly can and pull this scraper through. Dude, this thing does not want to move. That is so funny. There we go. Okay, so I do have to lift it up in the back. It just does not want to pull through. Oh my goodness. That is actually some phenomenal color work though. Holy crap. I think I do need to, you know, base paint the next one white because unfortunately I'm gonna lose it uh, with how many times we're probably gonna have to go over it. But um, yeah, I'm really liking the colors for sure. All right, let's do the other side. Okay, so we've got a lot of cool uh, variation going on here. The, the coloration is great. The problem is, is because there's so much exposed kind of uh, canvas, that is the issue. So if I had painted the canvas even white beforehand, this raw canvas would not be an issue. But because I didn't do that, and there's a lot of exposed you know, canvas underneath, it's going to keep coming through. And you can kind of see the scraper, it's starting to turn into mud uh, with these colors. Um, but we're just gonna press on. And as great as it looks, we're just gonna add more and try to fill in these gaps. And if I use all of the paint, then I use all the paint. It is what it is. Now, as far as using this for scraping, honestly, I don't know that this is probably the best paint for this. Um, I think if I was doing actual paintings, the heavy body would make a lot more sense. But uh, yeah, this is, this is rough. This is some of the most difficult uh, scraping I've ever done, <laughs> for sure. So I'm really gonna kind of push into it and We'll see if we can kind of fill in some of these gaps here. to get this to stay. I used to have screws in the table I used. Now that table's gone.
you know, Gerard Richter has always been like a big inspiration to me. And I can see why he paints his canvas before doing this. Woo! That is, that is tough. I'm not even joking. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not being dramatic at all. This is tough. Like really tough to pull these through. But this looks awesome. I actually, I think it looks super cool. Um, all right, let's see if we can get this pulled through. Okay, so ultimately I think that I would call that. Uh, it turned out pretty cool. And I can kind of look at it here. Yeah, ultimately pretty cool piece. But you can kind of see here towards the bottom that it was starting to get muddy because of how many times we were going over it with the paints. Um, I think had I painted the bottom layer so that this rough canvas like over here wasn't uh, exposed it would have been better so my recommendation is that if you're going to do these paintings maybe paint the bottom layer uh, a certain color whatever the color is that you want to kind of come through and even if it's white you know then it's not just a stark white it might also help the paint kind of glide through the painting a little better so it could actually be you know beneficial to do that uh, but that is pretty much it i don't know that i will continue to use heavy body for these types of painting um it just seems kind of like a honestly it seems kind of like a waste they're great paints but i think for what i do it's not necessarily necessary so i don't know that's about it i hope you enjoyed this video uh, we learned something and i got to use something different and I don't think the painting is terrible. So that's about it. See you guys.